say hello to my new A cam, B cam. Perfect partner for my B cam, A cam. Let me explain. Hello everyone, I hope you're all good. Now, if you haven't guessed by the title, then you've probably guessed by the microphone that's strapped to my chest. But I have gone and bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Just like every other YouTuber going, I have jumped on this bandwagon. And I'm gonna try in this video to give you five reasons, I mean, there are many more, but five reasons why I've gone and bought this camera. Let's get to it. Right, so before we go into the reasons why, I'm gonna go into the reasons why I felt like I needed to get a second camera. Right, so for those of you who don't know, my main camera is the Lumix S52X, of which I've got a video about, I'll link up here. And for a long, long time, I've been thinking, right, I need two cameras. Under this YouTube thing, I'm gonna need a B cam. I'm gonna need one to be able to film me doing things with this camera to show you guys, such as, you know, photography tutorials, video tutorials, or just essentially B-roll of me out and about taking videos and taking photos. So for a long time, I've been thinking that I needed to accompany this camera with essentially the same camera again to make use of all my lenses and blah, blah, blah. So it was like the best use of money. However, you know, spending 1500 pounds on another full frame camera to essentially just do a bit of B-roll and, you know, have as a secondary B cam is a lot of money to spend. And I've been putting it off and putting it off, but also I've been waiting for, or looking for potentially another solution. And now this DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has come out. I mean, it's like the perfect solution to be a A cam, B cam. Basically, that means it's an A cam because it's filming A roll, but it's my B cam because it's not quite as good as this. So yeah, that is the plan and that is the idea. And that is the main reason I have gone for a second camera. Now into the reasons why I've chosen this particular camera. Let's go. Oh, scrambling through the bushes. So reason number one, and probably the most important in any kind of B cam is picture quality. So I needed a camera that would somewhat rival the quality of this. Now I do understand that this is a full frame camera. This is gonna be far superior to this. However, it needed to somewhat beat smartphones and all those action cams. It needed to be better than that. So with the one inch sensor, D-Log, plus 10 bit video footage, 4K, the video quality on this is actually pretty damn good. And we'll go nicely with this. At least I think it will. You be the judge of that. Reason number two is audio. So I needed this camera to obviously walk out and about with. So it needed some form of internal mic or some form of microphone to be able to be plugged in. And because this comes with these wireless microphones, I mean, it's an absolute game changer. It's actually what sealed the deal for me. I saw this and I was like, wow comes with its own built-in transmitter and wireless microphone. That's it, game over. This is the camera. It allows me to come out and about, shoot videos like this. I don't have to hold it like this and pretend to vlog in public. Looks a bit awkward, looks a bit weird. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing being able to just put this microphone here and know that I'm gonna get good clean audio wherever I am. And you know, I can now do some tutorials on how to take photographs. Not that I'm good at it, but I can stand here with my main camera and pretend to shoot, which is exactly why I wanted a B cam. So that is reason number two. So reason number three is convenience. Because if I had to carry two of these around with me, which is a second mirrorless body, another lens to go with it, plus an external microphone on top, my back would definitely not be in good health. So the fact that this comes in a tiny, tiny package, you've got a one inch sensor for the quality, you've got D-Log, you've got 10 bit, you've got a built-in gimbal, you've got an external microphone, plus you have this little stand where you can just prop it up anywhere you want and three batteries to go with it. It's just so convenient. <laughs> I mean, I can put it in this tiny little Peak Design satchel along with this and that's it, me set up for the day and I know I'm gonna get some great stuff. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. So I would definitely recommend this for convenience alone. <laughs> Phenomenal. Right, let's see if I can get through this 
Rubbish. Should we just go into reason number four? Because I don't think I'm going to make it. Am I? Right, reason number four we'll do in a minute. We'll do it further down here. Right, reason number four is the gimbal. The fact that this has a built-in gimbal is just amazing because if you were to take out a gimbal with one of these, your rig would be absolutely massive. And the fact that it has face track, which allows me to track myself, means that I'm essentially a one-man film crew. I don't need anybody to film me. I don't need anybody to pan follow. As you can see from the other clips in this video, it's followed me down the path. It's followed me around corners. <laughs> I can't believe it's tracked me all the way around. <laughs> That's insane. How the hell did it do that? That's just phenomenal. It's absolutely fantastic. And this is my first outing. I've not tested this before I came out to film this video, by the way. So it's very, very easy to set this up and use. And to have a gimbal and perfect image stabilization out on the go is great for vlogging, especially when it comes to not looking like an idiot because if you're good vlogging with a big beast like this in public you look like a right tool back i mean <laughs> talk about bringing attention to yourself i can't stand it and i can't get my head around how other people can just do it and then pretend that people aren't watching and thinking what on earth are you up to <laughs> i absolutely love it and the fact that it's got all these other little features as well you can have time lapse you can have motion lapse all helped with the fact that you've got this gimbal because it just opens up the doors for some creative content. It's absolutely amazing. So reason number four is this gimbal. Ooh. I jumped and you didn't even notice because this gimbal's incredible. There's nobody around. It's amazing. Look at all these Christmas trees. Oh, birds. Can you see? Probably can't, can you? Because it's following me. No. Come on, birds. Can you see the birds? I think we're going to get an amazing sunset. Just goes to show I started this video this afternoon and now the sun's setting. I'm not very good at these videos. So let's close out with this amazing sunset behind me for reason number five which has to be the price right before i go into how much it is you probably already know but if i was to buy another camera body plus another lens microphone and a gimbal if you really want to do that then you're looking at thousands this was 619 great british pounds for the combo pack as well. I mean, <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. And the fact that you're getting a one inch sensor, which is going to give you that enhanced dynamic range. You might even get some subject separation. And the fact that it's got D-Log 10 bit footage built in is just incredible. And also to boot, you've got image stabilization with the gimbal, which does active tracking, external microphone. I mean, <laughs> what more could you want for? 619 pounds. I honestly do not know how GoPro and Insta are gonna compete with this. It's just, it is the camera of the year, in my opinion. It's probably gonna be the camera of next year. And it's, there's no surprise why every single YouTuber is raving about this camera. And I am as well. I must say this is not sponsored. I bought this myself with my own money. As I said before, I've been putting off getting a second camera and wow, well, <laughs> yeah, pretty glad that I didn't bother buying another one of these. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm shooting in D-Log as well, so we're testing that out. And as I said before, this is the first time using the camera, so this is not a review. This is basically a first impression and reasons why I bought this camera. But yeah, with that being said, stay tuned as I'm definitely going to be using this camera a lot more because I want to try and bring some more on the in the field sort of tutorial videos here. So hopefully you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, all those nice things that will put a smile on my face. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, honestly, I almost didn't come out today. I was in a bit of a grump. But yeah, so glad that I came out. Did not expect that sunset. It's just amazing. Thank you
Peace.